Well, welcome, folks, to this, our final A League of Our Own. And uh, I'm delighted uh, to be joined by our final pairing, which is uh, Mr. Kerr Waddell and Mr. Cammy Ballantyne. <laughs> good to see you, Roscoe. How are we doing? Yeah, I'm good, Cammy. I'm good. Um, what about yours? In fact, I'm going to start with you, Cammy. I'll start with you. How, uh, how's it been finally getting out of lockdown and getting back into the football? Well, it was brilliant. Um, I wasn't too bad during the lockdown. Um, stayed with mum and dad, so they were kind of looking after me. So I wasn't too bad, but obviously getting back to the football was brilliant. Um, I was back in at St Johnston a wee bit before Montrose, but uh, being back at Montrose, first and foremost, brilliant. Glad to be back, so I can't really complain at all, Roscoe. Yeah, I mean, personally, I'm sure there'll be a lot feel the same. We're delighted to see you back at the club. Thank you very much, Roscoe. It's a pleasure Good to be see back. You back. Yeah. Thanks, no, and what about yourself, Kerr? How uh, how's it been getting out of lockdown and, and getting back into the game? Um, it's been good for me, but to be fair, I was in lockdown all last season as well. I didn't play hardly anything, so it's just great to be back now. It's now the football's actually back again. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll I'll mention the fact that I was at the breaking game. I was able to watch that from the stand, and I thought. Kerr, your performance was, was great. I thought you played really, really well. And it's probably one, one of the first opportunities I've had to, to really see you play, play a full game. Um, how do you feel about being back and how your performance is going? Thank you very much. Um, I've still got a long way to go, obviously. I'm still not up to what was at one or two years ago, but I'm finally getting there every game, every training session. I feel like I'm getting there, getting fitter, getting sharper. So it's just brilliant. I can't wait to get going. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I thought you were fat, Kerr, <laughs> but you were looking lean, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I put on a few pounds, like, in my lockdown mode, but I've lost it, I've lost it now. I don't know about that, mate. Couldn't have stopped myself, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what, what's been what's been your highlights actually? Because obviously tomorrow, um, start of the league, um, and and that in itself is is quite big. But how have you felt about the the cup games that we've been involved in and and some of the friendlies? I'll start. I'll give that to Cami first. Well, I thought I thought first and foremost we were all looking good in the friendlies. It's a bit difficult to kind of relate them to real games, but everybody was looking well, looking fit. Well. Apart from Big Kerzo, but uh, everybody was looking looking pretty well. Uh, and then when we got into the games, uh, the Ross County game was brilliant. I thought just the way we played, we dug in. It was everything that we were all about. Uh, obviously, a couple of disappointing results since then, but stuff to build on definitely. So we can't really be taking too many negatives from it. So we're happy, I think, as a group. Aye. Yeah. Would you feel the same way, Kerr? Absolutely agree. I think we're just quite disappointed not to take more points from our three games, but. It could be worse. Yeah. I think it's a really difficult competition, that, because, you know, it's very difficult to get out uh, and into the, to the next rounds. And I, and I feel for, for us, we've always kind of viewed it as it's almost like a, a good way to see where the team is at before you start the league. Um, so uh, what are your thoughts on, on actually finally getting started tomorrow? I'll give that one to you, Kerr. You're looking forward to the new season? Yeah, I think everyone can't wait, to be honest. It's just feels like it's been so long since we've actually played a league game. It's obviously going to feel a bit different because there's no crowd there, but it's still a game to us, so we still need to try and win it. Yeah. Cammy? Much of the same. Uh, disappointing that there's not going to be any fans there because it, uh, it is really good when everybody's behind us. good place to be, but uh, like Kerr says, you've got to do, get the job done still. Everybody's ready to go, I think, so hopefully a positive result. Yeah, I mean, although the fans aren't there, everybody's dead excited about this and, and looking forward to hopefully what will be another successful season for us all. Um, okay, so you guys, you've got the final team from our league, which is Airdrie. So um, we'll, we'll start with you, Kerr. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on Airdrie this year and, and what you think they might be capable of, of producing? Well, last year, obviously, we played them. It was always, always a tough game. I'm sure we beat them maybe twice last year. And they beat us... I remember they beat us at home 1-0 at the start of the season. It was always tough. They're always quite a physical, strong team. But they play quite good football as well. So expecting the same this season, I think. 
They've brought in a few good players. I see they've brought in uh, the boy that used to play for Newcastle. Was it Lorraine Robert? Oh, I right, right, okay, yeah. Did uh, is it? I think is it his son. Yeah, they brought in his son. So apparently he's quite a good player. So we'll just see. I'm sure there'll be a strong side again. Yeah, if he's if he's anything uh, like his father, then <laughs> you could be up for a tough game. I know, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Cammy? What's your your thoughts on Airdrie this season? Well, I think I think they would be disappointed with the the position they finished last season. Uh, obviously, they've got the kind of full time part time mix, so they'll be looking to be there are their boots this season. And uh, last season when we played them, they, they were strong, um, but we always felt we could get the better of them, and we did. Uh, but like Kerr says, they've made some good signings, a couple of younger boys, a couple of attacking players, so they'll they'll be a force to be reckoned with. I think. Yeah. There's, there's no getting away from it. Our, our league is a tough league. There's a lot of good quality teams in there now. Well, yeah, great even last season, some of the, the, the teams that were lower down the league, they, they, they were really really tough games. I remember one of my first games was Peterhead, and I thought, they, I looked at the table, and they, they, they were only doing too well. But even even them, they were one of the strongest teams we played. So even the likes of them, you know, fourth forward in there last season, all, all, all the teams will be looking to kind of push on, so it'll be a really, really tight league, like you say. Yeah, yeah, but like I say, we're all looking forward to it. You guys, right. I'm sure, are, are, are dead keen, um, and like I say, us fans, we can't wait for it to all get going again. Now, some people may say that what we're about to embark on is the most important part of, uh, of today's interview here. It's the Mr. and Mr. competition. Now, CJ and Liam have had their finest moment ever <laughs> by getting 100 percent eight out of eight. They weren't alone in that, but they're the only ones that really matter. You know, it's a yeah. big, big thing for these boys. <laughs> but <laughs> you, you've only got two to beat. If you get more than two correct answers here, you're off the bottom of the table. That's what we're so, going for. You know, I think start start with that, and if you can get eight out of eight, I, even better. I think I might be a wee bit of a stretch even at that. <laughs> That's right. We're well to get there. Cammy, we're about to find out. <laughs> 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 you were asked to bring something blue, so have you got something blue there? Control uh, shots. Blood. And yes. have you got something <laughs> white? Perfect. Okay. So, Kerr, you are going to be the blue object, and Cammy, you're going to be the white object. So I'll ask you your question. I'll give you a wee bit of thinking time. I'll count you down from three, ask you to reveal who you think's best suited, and uh, we'll see how many out of eight you can get. So the very best of luck, Glads. Here we go. I'm nervous. Question number one. Who is the bossiest? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, you're going to get stage. <laughs> you're a defender. Oh, no. it's it's so, I went for Kami on the park. Oh, so CG, CJ and Liam can, can rest easy now. You know, you're not going to get eight out of eight. Not to worry. Okay, so you're aiming to get more than two lads. Who would last longer on a desert island? Two, one, reveal. Oh, hey! Yeah. Thanks, mate. Any, any particular reason for that? I'm a shambles. I wouldn't have lasted. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest, Kev. Yeah, I would totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> right, number three. Who would be more likely to have plastic surgery? Three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> well, Kev, yeah. what, what, what part would you be having worked on here, then? Well, does, does a hair transplant count? Because mine's just going a bit thin. It's not coming. Again, a bit thin. Yeah. Okay, we could pass it as that, yeah, because <laughs> some sort of cosmetic surgery. That's fine, I'll take that. You'll take that one, right? So that's all right, lads. That's two now. Uh, question number four. Who is the most honest? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, are you, br are you brutally honest, Cammy? 
No, I wouldn't say brutal honest. I, I like to kind of try and curb it a little bit, but I'm not sure that Kerr has it in it, to be honest, to it. Do you know what I mean by that? <laughs> You're saying he's too nice? Yeah, maybe I. Too nice a bloke. <laughs> Thanks so, I. Well, that's three you've got so far, boys. So this is a, a, a vast improvement on our beginning. Uh, and you're now off the bottom of the table. Yeah. So you can relax right. now. Right? The last four questions. <laughs> it should be easy. <laughs> Who has the nicest hair? Oh. Three, two, one, reveal. Oh. oh. <laughs> He just talked about his hair transplant. I know, but I was, I, I'm not going, we're not going for points anymore, you know what I mean? I thought I was going to off me. I thought your hair's quite nice, Cammy, actually. No, I'm, well, to be fair, yours was not looking too great, but I've complimented you a few times, yeah. It's looking well. <laughs> you're trying to be nice there, Cammy. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Right, number six. Who is the better dancer? Three, two, one, reveal. Oh, so okay, Kerr, you're, uh, you're scooping the prizes on the dance floor. Yeah, I'm taking, I can't see Kami Ka- uh, Ka- Ka- dancing like. Yeah, no. Stay yeah, stiff as a board, like. <laughs> no natural rhythm. No, I'm going to say some of us now. Nah. Can always work on that. <laughs> can always work on <laughs> Number seven. Who is more likely to start a fight? <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. Oh. No! <laughs> but you let a big bouncer. No, definitely you. No chance, mate. You're <laughs> almost scrapping on the pitch, definitely you. <laughs> no way. Oh, very good. Right, here we are. It's our final question. You ready? So, who is more likely to fall asleep before a planned League of Our Own Zoom call resulting in a 10-day delay? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, reveal. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Sleeping beauty over there. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible question. Tommy <laughs> and I sat for half an hour trying to wear your car. No, like, care. I wonder what's wrong with them. Had a big game the next day. I'm waiting for some kind of excuse, but he's no game man. No, had a had, had a big game the next day. <laughs> Who were we playing actually? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. This was like seven o'clock at night or something, or eight o'clock at the very latest. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, I'd work in the morning as well though Alright, okay Well, you've made it eventually Well look, thanks very much for your time boys um, Especially pre, pre-match tomorrow We're all looking forward to, as I say, getting the league campaign started And uh, and I hope you boys have a wonderful season uh, and, and the team does extremely well Thank you very much Ross Take yeah. care of yourself boys yeah. See you later yeah, Bye now Bye bye